The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Friday morning, and uh, I hope you're doing well this morning. Quarter after four, it's 73 degrees with a dew point of 69. You're starting to feel it out here, I can tell you that. And my job over the next two minutes is to bring you up to date on the intense heat for the next three days. Today, tomorrow, and Sunday, the rain chances, which will start to increase later in the weekend and certainly in the next week. A few words about the 4th of July weekend, you know, which is looking maybe potentially turbulent as far as the number of showers and storms around that could affect a lot of outdoor plans including mine and um, I was telling you about something tropical in the Gulf of Mexico on the first week of July the models this morning have backed off a little bit on that at least this morning they have all right let's put it all together as I walk you through your weekend forecast here we go on the map this morning Active weather just to the north of us in Tennessee, a low pressure area just west of Charlotte. That's going to be the catalyst for some locally strong to severe thunderstorms. Portions of uh, the Carolinas into maybe edging into part of Georgia. Even a few thunderstorms perhaps in north and northeast Alabama today. Meanwhile, out in the Gulf of Mexico, it's Invest number 95L which is in the Bay of Campeche heading towards Mexico. That's not going to bother us. A 20% chance of development, according to the National Hurricane Center today. We'll keep an eye on the Gulf, of course. Mostly sunny and hot for us today with a high around 97. We should be dry. Tonight's low 75. Heat index 100 to 105 today and closer to the 105 danger level tomorrow. The heat actually peaks tomorrow and over the weekend. Big upper level heat bubble still over us. And that's eventually going to break down as we get towards uh, later in the weekend and early next week. Intense heat tomorrow. Maybe an isolated shower somewhere. I think the chances are small, but better chances on Sunday. About a 30% chance of an afternoon or evening storm, but still in the upper 90s and still heat index triple digits. Better chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday and especially Tuesday. So we'll say, uh, you know, 97 today, 98 tomorrow, you know, a degree or two higher possibly. With rain chances small tomorrow, 20% chance Sunday, a 40% chance on uh, Monday. So, uh, you know, one way you should uh, beat the heat is maybe go in the pool. Take Bailey's advice. By the way, she wasn't very happy to be in that picture. That was uh, Daddy put her up to that. But uh, anyway, she's uh, trying to stay cool, and maybe you could stay cool by going to the beach, too. Uh, Highs will be cooler down there in the upper 80s because of the uh, onshore flow. And uh, 20% chance of storms by Sunday. Gulf water temperature now 85 degrees. Beach forecast showing a low rip current risk. The European out 10 days shows the heat peaking the next couple of days. Scattered showers and thunderstorms from time to time, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But the best chance of showers and storms over the 4th of July weekend could be a turbulent time. I know none of us want to hear that. Uh, Everybody has plans. And, in fact, uh, look what the GFS does. With temperatures peaking tomorrow and over the weekend, we, uh, we fall down to maybe the 80s as we get into the 4th of July weekend as showers and thunderstorms increase. We'll keep an eye on that forecast for you. Here is the European out 10 days, showing the temperatures peaking over the weekend, but then showing temperatures down a bit as showers and storms increase. Look at the 4th of July weekend. It has some much lower temperatures because of the the storms around the area. The drought monitor, well, we need uh, some rain. Uh, Take a look at the severe drought across the northeastern counties and a few spots uh, around Birmingham and Anniston and uh, some dry spots in uh, central Alabama as well. So we would love to see some more rain. So the intense heat will peak today and over the upcoming weekend, and then things will start to level off a little bit. Temperatures come down a notch or two, and the rain chances go up several notches as we get into the early part of next week. Hey, I hope you have a great day today. We'll be live from the Blue Water Weather Center, and my dog will be right there by my side uh, at 11 o'clock this morning at richthomasweathernetwork.com. Latest on the tropics, latest on your weekend weather, and also we'll be live on the radio at 6 o'clock this morning on News Talk 93.1, on Bama Country, and on KISS FM. There'll be weather post over the weekend, but your next complete video will be online. When is that, Bailey? Monday morning at 5 o'clock. Hope you have a great weekend. Stay cool if you can. I'll see you later. Bye. Rich Thomas Weather!